I've been taking care of patients. I've taken care of uh, about 5,000 people in a live-in residential setting, and I can't tell you the number of people I've taken care of as outpatients, and the results are consistent. In other words, I tell people if you make this fundamental, great change by the way, if you make this change, you should expect dramatic results. And that's what I see in people. And without exception, overweight people, when they switch to a starch-based diet, get a little exercise, as long as they follow it truly like they're supposed to, they lose that excess weight. People's bowels start working, their indigestion goes away, their blood pressure comes down, their cholesterol comes down. They start feeling and functioning well. They look younger. They look more attractive. I mean, that's what I consistently see. This is as close as close as the connection of a half a bottle of whiskey and a hangover. You know, smoking a pack of cigarettes and having a terrible cough. What would you expect to happen when you change people's diets? We've documented some of the benefits in terms of numbers. Uh, the average drop in cholesterol in seven days is about 28 points. The average drop in blood pressure is about 10 over 10 millimeters of mercury, and most people stop their blood pressure lowering medications. We get almost all type 2 diabetics off their medications. Uh, people throw away their anaxes, antacids and laxatives. So it's a very expected, consistent result when people make this fundamental change. Well, there are some things that a good diet will treat and other things that it won't. You can't expect a good diet to treat non-dietary diseases like AIDS is not a dietary disease. Uh, trauma from an auto accident is not a dietary disease. It'd be inappropriate to think that changing the diet is going to be of any major impact on these particular problems. Of course, everybody needs to eat well and be as healthy as possible. So my practice and the benefits I see from my prescription is that people who suffer from diseases of the rich Western diet, the diseases caused by eating animal foods, particularly we're talking about uh, beef and chicken and fish and pork, and cheeses and milks, uh, those diseases, when you fix the cause, and that's the cause of the problems, what happens is when you get the oil out of their diet and these animal foods, people get well. So you know, that's a big swath of the population of people. You're talking about 80 to 90 percent of the chronic diseases that people suffer from, you can take care of by fixing the cause, which is the food.